And there was a real deep message. Kill everybody who brings you down. Is that the message? Yes, it is. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yo, Isaiah, do you remember Hereditary? Yeah. What What was the weirdest part for you? Um, the weirdest? So, I mean, the ending was pretty weird. It was fucked like up. The, uh, when the son was in the classroom. Yeah. And then he was just, like, looking at his reflection. Mm-hmm. And also he just turned it. He just had that, like, fucking seizure or whatever. Yeah. That part was weird as hell. I don't know what the hell that was. That one sounds like an interesting movie. <laughs> it had so many different meanings to it that were just crazy. But this one, it got 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. What, Summer? Midsummer, yo. Midsummer? Mm hmm. How'd that make you feel? I don't know. This, just looking at the motherfucking trailers, it makes me a little anxious. Just like, it looks like it can get good, but I feel like half the thing is just gonna be built up in. Like, backstory and yeah. why nobody trusts her because she's having a panic attack 24 <laughs> 7. I don't want to see this. <laughs> yeah, okay. I so, want to see everyone die. <laughs> what I actually saw, apparently, is that this movie is supposed to be more of a breakup story than an actual horror story. But, like, a fucked up breakup story. <laughs> well, this sounds. <laughs> so I, sounds like I already know they're going to fuck up. Uh, break up. <laughs> no, fuck up. Okay. So, I'm wondering, like, what that's going to be like. Because even in the trailer, he's talking about Little Missy in the circle. So yeah. It's going to be like some. I think like some subliminal messages yeah. about like relationship. I think so. So apparently, uh, a hereditary wasn't just about grief; it was about like political values as well. What the fuck? And I was like, huh? How? Well, the grandma was like the hierarchy of some crazy ass hoe. Yeah. Hoe. Oh. Oh, yes. shit. Cold shit. But no, I can already see how it's gonna go down. Cause you just told me it's a breakup story. Mm-hmm. This bitch is dead. This bitch is dead at this the end. Is, Cause he's assimilating. Yes. He found a new bitch. He's fucking the new bitch. This new, the old bitch is going crazy, psycho. Ah, people screaming in her face, yada yada. And she's gonna die. Wait, and the old bitch? You mean the kind like the witch bitch? Oh, that's not there. No, 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 bitch, no. witch, so much. <laughs> no. I mean, old bitch, as in the main character. Yeah. Oh. Because she's they're breaking up. So yeah. the old. Uh. Oh, and so old couple, new. Okay. new couple. Agent, have you seen the trailer for this? I have seen the trailer. What, what, what makes you want to see this movie? Honestly, the most appealing part is number one. I don't think I've ever seen a movie that has anything to do with pagans in it. Ooh, and hey. I like the twist of the competition, like the the uh, like the whole game festival yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that exactly is about. I hope it's not too creepy because I know you don't focus Salem shit, Isaiah. No, that's just well, this isn't Salem shit. This is pagan shit. <laughs> so I don't know if it's the same or not. It is. What, what does pagan mean? Pagan is what used to be before uh, Christ. Yes. Okay. Almost God. any almost any religion can be called pagan, but pagan is mostly this like druid oh, and I see, I see. worshiping gods that were fucking evil and shit. Okay. Yeah. What fun stuff? <laughs> and if you watch ancient aliens, apparently they're like related to aliens and they like really follow their their shit to a T. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. Part. I don't think aliens. <laughs> that's not, yeah, I don't think this. any UFOs are gonna drop down on this. That would kind of make me deter from this movie. I would fucking love that twist. <laughs> At the end, they're all sacrificing for our god, and then all of a sudden, a fucking gray man comes up. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. <laughs> Grabs that. Is... <laughs> no, no. Has no, there no, been no. any other movies with like pagans? Um, that you've seen not a hundred percent pagan, but a lot of culty shit like this like wicker like, man like yep wicker man that's the exact first <laughs> okay, thing i was Nicholas going cage for. not the bees anything no! but the bees i haven't seen it i haven't seen wicker man bro you oh that's, that's like nick cage you would love that oh by the way we're smoking on some jet blue sativa in washington 21 and over Out 22 bees no bong today that jet blue got me high in five hits <laughs> <laughs> so how do you think that's gonna make you feel hella high watching a movie are you gonna make you scared or I think I'll be more interested in it. I think I'll watch every detail. Okay. Honestly. What about you, Kelly? I feel like I'm going to be point- paranoid the whole time. Sunk in your seat. Just, just looking at everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you see her 
Take that left step in the center of the right. <laughs> nah, that means something. It's a clone now. <laughs> I switched up. I don't know. It's gonna be wild. What do you think, Isaiah? I thought I'm gonna just be lost. <laughs> like in Hereditary? Yeah. See, the thing is, with the trailers from Hereditary were so different from the actual movie. Because we thought it was like gonna be like this grandma haunting them the whole time, but it ended mm-hmm. up being like this hierarchy of witches and shit. Yeah. And you're like, what is this? So I don't yeah, know if we had no idea that this. that is what it was. Yeah. So this one, like, you know. But that's there. Maybe. maybe. But maybe. That's the maybe. thing. That's not yeah. Because just like Get Out. I didn't know shit about Get Out. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this looks like maybe a scary movie. Yep. Body switching niggas. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then you watch Us and you think it's going to be like the same huge, huge twist that you understand. Mm-hmm. But th- that twist of Us, I did not understand. Yeah. For a long time. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting into that. <laughs> but. <laughs> so I, I, I get it now. I'm saying like when I started watching, I was like, it wasn't so quick. Clicking to me like Get Out was. Mm-hmm. For yeah. us, I definitely had to think about that for a minute, mm-hmm. and so long. but I, for, I I didn't focus on the twist so much as like what the other kind of meanings could have could have been, any mm-hmm. kind of metaphors you'd have been making. That's the thing I focused on more. Yeah, like the uh, the holding hands. Yeah, the hands across America. The hands across America thing. And like. I feel like low key, this movie's gonna have a hell of shit like that too, hmm. where it's just low key subliminal messages trying to. I could definitely say one that. thing about one thing, like everything else is nowadays. But the subliminal messages in Hereditary were just. You really had to look into yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't. It was I so. I had no idea. Like, <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> no I'm hoping idea. it's going to be the same where it was just like, I still don't understand it, and mm-hmm. it's just crazy to me. I'm going to be pissed if it is. Like, <laughs> I want to go home understanding what I'm watching. I don't want to <laughs> have to do research after it. <laughs> have to do a review after it. Yeah. Well, what time is it? What time is it? Oh, yeah, we got enough time. Um, what do you going to be out of 15, Kelly? Man, you always go to me. Um, I think it'll be like a 11. Ooh. I'm saying solid 11. Okay. Hmm. Adrian? I was actually going to say 11, but I'll mm. say 11.2. Ooh. And we'll probably just be a little better. Oh. <laughs> just a little better. Oh. All right. Isaiah, Isaiah, what do you think? Um, I'll go. I'm trying to think of the other movies I've rated. I'm just going to go with 10. Ten, yeah, good. You usually go sevens out of nowhere <laughs> for some reason. Oh, yeah, uh, to that exact half. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, see, I wish we did a review on Hereditary when this came out, so I could like get a comparison. Yeah, but I think I'm going to go twelve, solid C. That's I, think, I, think I definitely think it's going to be better than Hereditary. Really? Yeah. Have you guys seen Hereditary? I haven't seen Hereditary. You still haven't. Oh. Heard? We're going to check that out after then, maybe, or something like that. Man, that sounds like a whole lot of work <laughs> for high, man. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to check out this movie and come back and give you a review on it. Do Cerrone's. Hey, spoiler time. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, I'm going to need you to go spark up, go check it out, and come back and listen to our review. So go do that. Deuces. Um, what just happened? That was some crazy ass shit. That was an ordeal of moving. Felt like I wasn't really alive. I feel like I was waiting for the explanation and never got it. (laughs) I love that. Yeah, it was an ordeal. It was just like we were following a... Yeah, no, it felt like we were watching a documentary about this and we're just watching the main key events. What about the ending? I don't even know how to process everything. I fucking love that ending. Why? It reminded me a lot of Hereditary's ending. Really, he, they stage everything and like, oh, feel like, yeah. like some certain shape of some something. Yeah, I don't know what the meaning was. It's because I always like horror movies, or I guess it's technically not a horror movie, but a horror movies like this, where because in horror movies you always see them like they beat the odds kind of thing. Mm-hmm. They they didn't. There's just a number, another one of the numbers. Mm-hmm. Oh, another year, good year. Yeah, nine kills. I'm like, damn. Yeah, like I feel like for some reason this one didn't have an antagonist. I mean, the girl was the antagonist, but even that felt like she was the villain in her own right, which felt interesting to me. Especially yeah, yeah. yeah. When yeah. she smiled and realized that she's, she's like, "This is home for me." Yeah, you're just like, "Oh my god." I think the craziest part was all the little foreshadowing. 
mm. all the way through. Yeah, uh, the welcome home only said welcome home to her, not everyone else there. Yeah, I was like, Ugh. and his parents died in the fire. Mm-hmm. They die in the fire, and then he's like, "This is my family. You were an orphan. I'm an orphan." Yeah. He kept pushing on that tough. so much. <laughs> I know it's like to be like you. Honestly, I, there was a little more sacrifice than I thought there was gonna be because. Yeah, I thought there would be a little bit of killing, uh, but I definitely thought it was less of a celebration, more of like a recruitment kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Like we're, because they brought a good number of people, mm-hmm. but I figured they were gonna pair them off and give them the stay, drugged up kind of stuff. Oh god! But no, only one weird sex scene in that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That sex scene was too much. I feel like they made everything uncomfortable on purpose, and that was the horror. Yeah. More than any jump scare. That was my favorite part, though. I like the, the comedy, kind of. Yeah. It was, like, funny. That was some good writing. Will Poulter was pretty good. Until he got skinned. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. His back was open. No, that was the other guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, the annoying one? Yeah. <sighs> He's gone. Disgusting. The butterfly of the lungs, though. Yeah, it was oh, still God. alive. It was. Oh! Wait, those were lungs? Mm hmm. Yeah. That's oh, why he was still breathing. God. Oh, he was still breathing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I felt. So I don't like that little sneaky part, though, of how the guy was right behind him, just oh, the yeah. dust in his face. Hey, hey, you that part. But, hold on. <laughs> we're talking about a dude who's drugged right now. That's true. And, look, getting so close to a dead body yeah. underneath it, just. And the fact that they were waiting for him to do that because the guy in the corner was staring. Oh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that guy who's pissed that um, Will Poulter pissed in the tree, oh, yeah. <laughs> staring on the, the dead the whole time. <laughs> I've been dying. Kill me. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what happened. Oh, I ate a pube. <sighs> oh, that was just the love potion action. <laughs> You think it was like a real love potion or like this drug? No, I hate how they didn't say tell you what he was drinking or anyone yeah. drinking ever. Just drink it. Just drink it. Mm-hmm. It'll be fine. Uh, you didn't learn anything. Yeah, yeah. you didn't learn anything one from thing that. I loved about this. The only thing you learn is that it's a messed up ritual. It's yeah. a ritual that has to happen. Yeah. And, and I wonder why it has to happen and for what reason. Who you okay. don't get to know that? Why did it only the seventy two? I know, right? You gotta jump up like <laughs> yo. Oh, dude, jump wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you have so much open space. Like, he just penciled dope down. down. How did you think that was going to go? Like, straight down. Oh, my. He got malleted four he times. Was, oh, the face is exploding. Bro. Chill. But you did see the images of, like, the bear and everything, the tiles of that room that they were in. Yeah, I saw that. So that was the crazy part. I don't remember that from Hered- Hereditary. There was, like, images that we saw before. Yeah. This one had a lot of images. It the like, only yeah. person I kind of regretted that died was the black dude. Yes. Because I feel like... He was, he was like the only one that was actually like caring about this and like researching. And but, I, I, yeah, and I feel like he was going to be the one to figure everything out, but then they killed him. Yeah. And put his fucking foot. That's what I don't understand. Why they put his foot there and then put his foot back attached to him? Because he had his foot at the end again. Of the continuity issue and like... Wait, hold in the inside the get his foot back. That's when because didn't they skin all of them? Yeah. But yeah, that's he part. wasn't skinned. He wasn't full of hay, was he? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was. Yeah, I'm fairly sure. They're all Every, wear, everybody wear, but except the, for the only one. Uh, yeah. And, and the dude full of hay. Yeah, so they, I guess they just reattached the leg. The bear. Oh. oh did it bear. just take What's the away? this bear? Just the bear. It's not just a bear. Ugh. Oh, I completely. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> so they really mentioned everything for it. I think everything was foreshadowed. Yes. Even the love story yeah. of like yeah. they panned it. See, that was an obvious one. And the bear. The bear was not. I completely forgot about that. Burned in a fire, though. Yeah, he was they like did. Family burned in a fire because it was his parents that volunteered or did all that for him. Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. I mean, yeah. Connie is the one who died from the screaming. Uh, we yeah. don't know what happened to her, but she was just... She was being that. real then. Yeah, that was at the end. We knew that, yeah, but yeah. we don't know how she died. Yeah, we didn't see anything. 
Her eyes were so was obvious. That, Wait, she was screaming yeah. at the end? No, 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 no. Not the end. Remember when everybody heard the scream? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But nobody... No one knows what happened. That's what I love about this movie. Yeah, there is was it, no... There's no explanation. It's just all. This yeah. is what happens. <laughs> and it wasn't... There's rarely any jump scares. Mm-hmm. I don't think there was any jump scares. And there is some great... Editing that they had. You know the one part where she was crying and then she transformed, she transferred to the bathroom of the airport? The airplane? I was like, oh my god. That That is good writing. Uh Because then it shows how much she always panics, not just in one state, that she can panic anywhere. And I was like, that's good. That was pretty dope. Her cry cry was the same all the way through the movie. That scream cry. (laughs) I personally thought she was always from there. That's what I thought from the get go. I kind of low key felt like I was gonna see that, but but then I remember she had really good parents and stuff, and I was like, yeah, I was mean? thinking their parents Ooh. were gonna be the like, boyfriend because like, he was like all of a sudden hella interested. You thought that that would yeah. be a trick? Yeah. I kind of thought that too. Maybe like they were all setting it up just for only her, mm-hmm. but then it switched everything else. I was like, oh, oh like in the dream? Yeah, I believe that. That <laughs> dream <laughs> until the smoke it. came out. I was like, okay, yeah. man, it, For, it was definitely the foreshadowing. It was just because like you got to. This the story within the story, almost, that mm. they piece together for you. Definitely. And just the little things that connect. Mm. What about you, Isaiah? Um, I just liked, uh... I liked just seeing what was, I don't know, just gonna play out. Kind of just following their little community. And just their rituals and stuff like that. Everything was really intense. Oh. <laughs> so, like, I was... <laughs> I was tense scene. the whole time. Maybe the opening scene. The opening scene? Yeah. Which was, uh, yeah, that was... Talking to all of them, and mm-hmm. then... Yeah, all that shit. So you got like, a lot of character development, just in that beginning part. Yeah. Kelly, like, what was your favorite part? I'd have to say it was when she started assimilating. Mm-hmm. Like, she was starting speaking the language and shit. <laughs> yeah. And all that. I oh, love am I speaking Swedish right now? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I love that, because it just shows how much she actually, like, all right, it may sound weird, but I kind of found it like a happy ending because no, that's, it was a happy ending because only she, for her. Yeah, she found yeah. a home and a family like yeah. the homeboy was talking about after her sister. Because this was the first way. time she wasn't. Everyone was always depending on her, mm. and she always has to like have to do stuff. But now she was like happy that she's being dependent on. Yeah, and had a whole family. Yeah, yeah. Instead of having people good. use her and attack her, like her sister, or probably even her parents, maybe. And there was a real deep message. Kill everybody who brings you down. Is that the message? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Though, you never, we never were introduced to any previous May Queens. Mm. So I'm wondering what happened. Did we just die now? They're about to kill them. How we die at 72 like everyone else does. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's, it's super far apart. It's not like it's every year. It's 90. It's 90? Every 90 years, so. I was yeah. wondering about that. I was wondering, I was like, is that some separate thing, or is that... Because they only had 30 May Queens. Mm. That begs to differ, then. If it's every 90 years, it couldn't have been Homeboy's parents. Right, that's the thing. Mm. So, like, the feast was 90 years. In the beginning, she's like, oh, we only have this Well, Homeboy was lying the whole time. Yeah. He I just mean, wanted no, he to lost... deliver all those people there, because he was the... Uh, we're just talking about... Like the, how he's saying he's an orphan too, mm. and it was able to sink in. I was just thinking it would fit together. I'm okay, sure what you're saying, but yeah, you know, those one of those movies that really subverts expectations in such a good way. To the mm. point where I was so lost, and usually at that point of a movie, I'm like hoping for the end, I'll understand it, and I didn't, and I'm actually glad I didn't understand. It. Yeah, because I was low key waiting for that big villain monologue, and like even if they did die. You get the monologue. Yeah. And it's just, everyone knew what's up. It's like, this is this what happens. And you know, it's like one of those things of culture, because in culture, you don't get this villain and understand to defeat. It's just that's someone's culture. You have to mm-hmm. try to understand it or say no to it. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of what it was. Yeah, because everyone, everyone knew what's up. So they weren't like, hey, this is exactly what I need to be. Yeah. And she was going to learn and become a simulator. Oh, Adrian, what would you give it out of 15? Oh, this one's hard. I'm like, actually, I'm going to stick with my original rating. 11.2. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's right on bar. Right, right on. Callie? 
I'm gonna have to bump it up to a nice 14. Ooh. I like it a lot. Yeah. Is that it? Um, I'll, I'm gonna bump it up. 12. 12. Yeah. Oh, Pretty cool. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a 13. I think mainly because it was so compelling and the acting was really well delivered. Everything about it was so delivered well and the CGI didn't seem like it was so unnecessary. Like the cutting of the hand, you can see that was CGI, but it wasn't like, oh, you can tell it's a CGI. Like you knew the dick was CGI, but like I cut it. I wasn't studying it. <laughs> but you didn't like it study it up. Like, you knew the CGI in the right way. The practical effects with the heads being destroyed. Yeah. That was good. And I thought that was pretty good. So yeah, thirteen out of fifteen. Yeah, when my man's was like sitting there whimpering and dude clapped up. Yeah. Oh. Why were you doing that? You seem like, oh. like, like a child. Uh, when uh, Josh was sneaking in to take pictures, mm-hmm. who was naked? Who that was right? Mark. It was? Yeah. yeah. But his face was already sucked up at that point. Yeah. It, like, I don't think it was actually Mark. I no, it someone, was a mask of Mark. Yeah. 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 Mark, someone put the mask and his clothes on. But, and then a random hammer. Yeah, uh, from the, I'm pretty sure, the inbreding guy. Think so? Because he was only yelling. He didn't say any words. It was me. I thought that was dude. Oh, that's what I thought too. I thought it was. Oh, the, the Josh. March bit? Oh, what? I thought it was Josh was down. I mm. he was just yelling. Oh no. Nah. Uh, Damn. It was the inbred guy. Which was random. Was he did yeah. yeah. He was the cleric or whatever, like writing everything. He was like, how? What? I'm like that didn't come into play ever. At- all. Yeah. I thought Homeboy was going to come in like, hey, y'all got a deal. This is not the place for you. <laughs> but, uh, no. Didn't no. say nobody. Nothing that you expect would happen would happen in this movie. And that's what's great about it. Final thoughts, anybody? Just, no. just thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Crazy. I would say go watch in theaters. Definitely watch yeah, it. Definitely in theaters. Oh, man, man high. high stuff. Yeah. But just know it's a good story. It's a happy ending. <laughs> Everyone comes out on top. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone comes out on top that you care about. You stop right. caring about main dude ages ago. Let's go with the open mind. That's what I would say. All right. Yeah. Sweet.